Carolyn. Okay. Um, let's see. This was kind of, it was hard for me. I'm not going to lie. This was hard for me. I, I don't like talking about myself so much. I would rather take the attention and put on somebody else as much as I pretend to like to talk. I think that that covers up things. But um, what people thought about me and the kind of things that I got was that uh, I'm outspoken. Uh, one of my best friends called me organic because I'm very much into what I eat and how I take care of myself. And I'm trying to go to a 100% organic diet, but it's very hard and costly. So. I'm working on that. Um, I got confident. Um, my mom called me pampered. Uh, my child call it, said that I was a talker. Um, my husband said that I loved to shop. Um, my grandmother said that I was a very strong woman. So, so those are some of the things that people perceived me as. Um, student, um, and a good friend of mine said that you're Carolyn. You're just Carolyn. That's who you are. And so I was like, okay, that's kind of different. Um, so that's what people thought of me, or that's how they perceived me. Um, for my inside of my box, for the way that I am, I have two hearts because I, I really do wear my heart on my sleeve. I am a big softie. I don't show it a lot, but I am. Um, and there's not much inside except for I wrote something instead of so much as having a bunch of words and stuff like that. And then for my visuals, I brought pictures of my family. And this is just my immediate family. So it's, um, I have a couple just to cover my media because it's a large, a large family. So, and these are what are most important to me. Um, I'm 29 years old. Oh, I hate doing this, I'm nervous. Um, I am a mother of three. I've been married for 10 years. Um, I love to shop. Um, I struggle with being a talker. Um, I'm not very confident. I act like I'm confident, but I'm really not. Deep down inside, there's no confidence in here. It's just, eh. um, I grew up, oh, I hate this. I'm very emotional, so see, I get emotional doing this because I'm nervous, so it triggers that. Um, I knew what I was gonna say. Um, I'm half Mexican. I come from a split family. My mom and dad split, so I was the only child out of that. So for me, family is really a core, like I don't want my kids to have to go through what I went through. Um, my face is shaking. Ah, okay, I have to read my notes because I'm, um, I grew up with a learning disability, so like I strive to get the A's now, like, like my GPA and my A's, like that makes or breaks me. Like I could get a B on something and I could have studied my butt off and I should be proud of myself because like the struggles that I go through, but it's just not good enough for me, so I'm constantly at a battle with that. Um, I wear myself very thin. I'm stretched out very much so. I'm, I'm very much a stressed person. I may not show it all the time with, hey, smiling and bubbly and all very colorful, but I am very stressed out a lot of the time. Um, I have a lot going on in my life, and I'm spread out all over the place. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> and then what I want to be and uh, what I'm trying to what I'm striving to complete or to become um, I believe is always changing but right now my shorter term goals are I want to finish my program <coughs> and I want to have my degree and then for my degree I would like to get my bachelor's um, I am a happy person <laughs> I am confident a little bit, and I feel like my confidence from going to school and from stepping out of my box and my comfort zone and changing, it's building a little bit more so. And I'm learning how to cope with um, things that used to be more of a struggle, like my learning disabilities, and I feel like it's, it's getting stronger and better. Um, I always want to be a better wife, a better mother, a better sister, a better friend, I think that that's always going to be something that's always going to be a part of me. Like, I just want to strive to be the best that I can. Um, I want to be knowledgeable. Like, I want to know what I'm talking about and, like, someone believes it. Like, they don't question what I say or what I do, especially in my field. I want to be like, I want people to come to me. I want to, if I have to start at the bottom and, and earn that respect, I want to be able to know that, you know what, you can come to me and you know that what I say is the truth and I'm not going to take you astray or lead you in the wrong direction. 
Um, and I just kind of want to live my dreams. My dreams aren't big. They're just mostly just a happy, healthy, my family, keep my loved ones close. And that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> No, stop it. Yeah, stop it. Yeah.